Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing well today. I have swapped my armor set back away from the massive amount of HP that we had before. Uh, back to the drown set. So we lost about 610 HP as a result. I'm still using the gilded trinket, but I wanted to see what a run was like if we just upped our damage a bit. Let me make sure I talk to everybody before we go. We know it's possible. We have seen the peak. We know that it exists, but can we reach it again boxers are very very durable but suffer from being in super close proximity for all of their damage all of the time uh wow that's a lot of seeking fireballs that's a lot of bones falling down let's see if we can get up here and actually do anything seekers taken down let's push all these guys into the corner hey that's off to a pretty good st okay not not the best start when you explode and then follow that up with a boomerang Oof. Inside a normal chest, we find the kin chest. Forged from red aether and imbued with a hundred enchants. Second time we found a piece of that set. Oh yeah, we just uppercut this dude until he flies back just a smidgen. He shouldn't shoot again. His follow-up attack should have been an AoE explosion just because... His first one was the shot. Ouch. I tried to drop, but gravity didn't kick in too fast there. There you saw very briefly the elusiveness of the brawler. If this guy's not attacking, I can move through him as much as I want. But the second he goes for that big damaging hit, we are in trouble and need to move. 31 HP restored on every single enemy kill and 6,000 gold collected so far. We just punch that guy into the corner every opportunity we get. These masks are super hard for any fast attacking class to take down, but relatively easy for the slower attacking classes. We, of course, attack pretty quick. Uh, let's see if I can just avoid some of these projectiles while we weave in some uppercuts, specifically on that plant that shreds armor. That's not a fun effect to dance around too much. If we get hit by that, it's going to mess up the rest of our run. Uh, the remainder of the plant shouldn't be that hard to take down. Let's see if we can get them together. Sorry, overshot it a little bit. I wanted to reunite you guys. I swears it. I swears it. I think I'm just going to have to accept that uh, the full clear of the Sun Temple is likely not going to happen for me. Another Ken Cape. Like, if we want to see the boss, at least right now, I think I'm just going to have to prioritize getting up there, which is a little different from how I've played most of this game. Actually, a lot different from <laughs> how I've played most of this game. But I think our burdens in the new game plus difficulty has really been catching up to me recently. And don't get me wrong, I'm trying to step up to the challenge. But there's no reason to make the challenge even more hard. Ooh, that could be good. Uh, is this a time limit? It recharges on hit, so not quite as good. Uh, if I could deal damage to get this off cooldown, like a few quick hits and get this off cooldown, that could be pretty strong. But for right now, I think I'm just going to leave that there. I kind of am hoping for a... Um, Ooh, let me check the door under this too. I'm kind of hoping for a layout that gives me more relics rather than uh, weapon swaps like that. I know the weapon swaps can be strong, but I'm not really stacking relics at all because we, we don't have any. You know, I'm not going out to the other parts of the castle too. Let's see if we can kick this guy into the spikes. Indeed we can. Gobble up that gold as well, bringing us up to 13,000. Spectral mage above us. What's in here? Ooh, that's kind of a problem, actually. Uh, I think we could do this. Kamehameha right away. Get through his shield. Knock him into his friend. Kill the bunny. Oh, 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 took one hit. That's okay. The bunny's really got to go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, not that bad at all. 31 HP back on every enemy. Like, we, we almost healed up for more damage than we took there. It's getting there, you know. A spectral Mage moving in was trying to punch it into the clouds, but maybe animation canceled my punch? 
There we go. Right into the bat as well. Muddy raining down from the heavens above. Whoop, whoop. Missed my jump. Pulled on. Oh, can the bats just go through the clouds? I was going to try to push one of those into it, too. Displacement in this area can be really strong just because, uh, ooh, you don't get body blocked, huh? Or you don't get interrupted, huh? Displacement can be really strong just because of all the environmental hazards that the enemies can actually take damage on. I think we're relatively safe in this corner. Once we kill this bat, we should be totally fine. He's about to throw some bones, one of them right on me. How rude. When he comes back over, we'll finish him off. Unfortunately, he took a little bit extra damage there. Uh, let's get out of this guy's line of sight. I can juggle him up in the air, get out of that explosion range. <gasps> this is bad. Get back up there. Oh, okay. Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. Now it's your turn. And for the chest, we gain... Oh, up to 24,000 right now. My plan is to still dump every single point I can into... Uh, armor inside of our castle, increasing our overall armor uh, value. I think that's still really important. I saw some discussion in the comments saying, oh, this is huge. Saw some discussion, discussion in the comments saying that I don't need more armor, I need more damage, I just need to equip my armor runes. Well, luckily for me, I've already equipped all of them, so they're already there. We just need more armor. <laughs> Honestly, more damage is always good. I agree with some of the discussion that was happening. If you could just flat out kill an enemy, then you don't need any of the defenses. And that's something you could apply to pretty much every game. Forged from the Red Aether and imbued with a hundred enchantments. That's our third piece of kin gear this run. Wow. I'm going to just continue up the left side here, trying to make it to the very tippy top while also checking out these inner rooms. If there's a chest in them, I'll stop. If there's not, I think, ouch. I'm just gonna keep going. If this guy hits me, we are going to be armor shredded and that really sucks. Oh, that really sucks too. Get over there. I do not like fighting inside of these traps. Let me tell you, let me reset that room. This looks like just a normal passageway here as well. Ugh, thought I could sneak underneath that one. Health is not looking good. We're down to 290 at the moment. But we are making good castle progress, honestly. I'm pretty happy with it. Couldn't tell if that was actually going to hit anyone. Looks like it did connect with the bat, and we sent it flying straight into the floor. Another bat on the left side is going to speed racer right over to me. Uh, that relic we picked up, the boxing bell, whatever it's called. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where, I, know, I should see this somewhere. Oh yeah, right at the top. I was looking at the bottom of the screen. Boxing Bell, your weapon applies combo. Well, our weapon already applies combo. And we attack super fucking fast. So we're actually doubling up on that benefit. And we're able to stack it faster than just about any other class in the game. What? How do I... um? Oh, right there. Ah. A soul steel rune. That is huge. Finally, we might be able to start getting some more healing. Now that does scale with our intelligence. We might just have to go on a mage marathon here pretty soon and just get our intelligence passively scaling up as best as we can. One more chest above us, and it looks like a... Ooh, I thought it was going to be a relatively easy one to get to. Turns out it's a little more difficult. Tried to knock him into his friend. It looks like it was successful. Ooh! Wait, I don't have any damage over time. Why was that so delayed? The Leviathan Helmet, the Royal Akutrama of the High Seers. I believe we only have the Leviathan Sword right now. So that's a welcome addition. I am not messing around with this room if I don't have to. I'm just going to get straight to the top. Fighting masks is not a pleasurable experience for a boxer. So we will leave them there. Actually, I might come back and just try to farm out the bottom of the room real quick because uh, there was a chance we could get a lot of meat out of that. Unfortunately, we didn't get any. Ooh, and this place is pretty well guarded by a gun pointing at the front door 
and starfish underneath with void energy that moves through the entire map. So I'm pretty hesitant to move down in here. Luckily for me, the chest is actually above us. And this is kind of what I mean about my mentality shift. Up until this point, up until the Sun Temple, I've always been kill every enemy, loot every chest. The obstacles do not matter. Get it all done. And part of that was for the entertainment value. I think it's I think it's more fun when I take risks, but I don't want to take risks and actively sabotage my own progression. I feel like I was conquering the risks before, you know what I mean? Whereas now they're getting they're getting pretty hard, pretty hard. I feel super zoomed in and whoever I was fighting is literally just gone now. Oh, the bat has returned. Let's Oh, he flew through the floor. This guy's actually in a Oh, 14 HP. Hold on. Reset. Clear the room. The boss is above us. Bro, if I can get to the boss without taking damage, we're in. If I can get up there, I just have to climb. Oh, I'm going to kill him. He should be more HP. 31. I still don't think we can survive another hit. Oh. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! So close. 275,000 XP. That's how much I have on boxers? My goodness. I need to take away my, uh... My character lock. We get these chefs out of here. Before we buy anything, let's go visit the Enchantress. I would like to equip uh, that new lifesteal rune we got. Where is that? Okay, perfect. Do we have the rune weight for this? No, we're going to need about 20 more. So, is that going to be enough? It should be. Now we're going to get even more lifesteal when we take down enemies. Beautiful. So this is the upgraded class for the Bard. We unlocked it last episode. This will be our first, actually our second time playing it because we've had a character that re-rolled to this weapon before and it was a Bard. So how this works is we can attack one time. That's it. And if we miss that attack, in order to be able to attack again, we have to then do a head pound on an enemy. Now we still have some of the bard effects like being able to remove all projectiles and turn them into different things, but, oh fuck. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is gonna be easy <laughs> because it's just not. You have to get up and close and personal to every single enemy before you could deal damage. Uh, and that's not something that comes natural to me on this class by any means. And also in the Sun Temple specifically, a lot of the enemies just gap close super fast. They're moving around like crazy. Wait, who's protecting you guys? And why doesn't it work if you're all the way to the left? Uh, so the... Oh god. So the fact that we have to like be really aggressive on a class that can't attack constantly is going to be something that's very difficult in this area, especially when I just keep falling into enemies and taking damage. I do like this bounce headshot combo thing. That's actually kind of satisfying. I can get behind that. Uh, I didn't mean to just walk in here and sacrifice this character. That's not what I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to end the video. It was just a series of unfortunate events that all rolled out at the same time there. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can attack these guys through the wall, so let's just commit. Uh, I can turn off all of their projectiles. Hit him with a Kamehameha. Nice. That got rid of the starfish. <laughs> Running up to an enemy, kicking them in the face, and then killing them with rock and roll. What a concept. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Now, this is literally the enemy I'm talking about. And, like, masks. I don't think this area was really designed to play to this class's strength. But that could just be me talking, you know? Nice. 
Wait, is it a kickoff of anything? There is a trait called OCD. One below 50% health deal 20% more spell damage. Oh, that's what our current one does. And what OCD does is break all of the uh, ground stuff around you. Whenever you run into it, we've actually had a character recently that had OCD. Uh, but the benefit is that you can ground kick off of anything. And I was trying to think of why that would be important. Like you could spin kick off of the ground itself. And it's like, well, why would you ever want to do that? Well, if I could just spin kick on this character and reset my attack, actually be able to attack again, that has quite a lot of value. Oh, and we're not that bad against masks. We're not that bad against masks at all. All right. All right. Maybe I was wrong, boys. Happens to the best of us. Crescent weapon inside of a normal chest. The fact that we're getting so many pieces of gear out of normal chests here is, number one, kind of weird because I'm not new to this zone. I've spent a lot of time in this zone and looted a lot of chests. So the fact that I'm finding new stuff suddenly is kind of weird. But that also means that we're probably a little behind in our gear progression. Because normally the oh shit normally uh, armor comes out of silver chests it's like a like special chest a much more rare chest but they're just kind of throwing it at me at the moment seekers coming down i don't like that let's check out this room i guess it's important to remember too like oh i did that too early that's a problem oh and no mana oh shit hold on Let's see what's on this side. I'm not doing a challenge room, bro. And I'm not fighting anything in there. And I don't want to be in here. But we can loot this really fast. Back outside we go. Oh, you were the seeker culprit. Let me reset you guys so I don't have to deal with the seekers. Fuck! I just tried to cast a spell. And I didn't have any fucking mana. And it looks like I just ran into that guy for no reason. Because that's exactly what I did! That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. One focus up. The bar does level up. We are going to head back into the castle tomorrow. Hand on heart. We're going to record a few episodes today. Sorry for the sporadic upload. I was just really feeling out of it last week. And one of my goals this year is to try to take better care of myself. It's so hard when uh you're a workaholic like i am and honestly i make way too much content in the first place but stepping away from the computer when i need to is important and i'm trying to get better at doing just that thank you guys so much for being here i hope you enjoyed it next episode we're going to go back into the castle and hopefully conquer it next time